Today, we're going to be talking about gift ideas for skateboarders. I think most people would agree that it's pretty hard to find a good personal gift for someone, and it's even harder to find a good gift for skateboarders specifically, so I figured I'd put together a quick list with a few ideas to help everyone out. Everything mentioned is going to be linked in the description below, but if you have the option, I always recommend buying from your local skate shop. Recently, I also made a video on things that every skateboarder needs, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out because most of these things are going to be different, and you might get some good ideas from that video as well. Growing up as a skateboarder, my family would always try to get me a thoughtful skateboarding related gift, but there was definitely a few times when they would give me something that I really didn't need or want, so the whole purpose of this video is to just make the gift giving process better for everybody involved. If you have any good suggestions of your own, go ahead and leave them in the comments so other people can see it. Be sure to leave a like on the video, check out the links in the description, and with that said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about are decks, trucks, and wheels. Now, if you're a skateboarder yourself, getting someone any of these things can be a great gift because they're things that every skateboarder could use. With that said, if you don't skate and you're looking for gift ideas for skaters, I would maybe avoid these things specifically unless you're willing to put in the work to get the right size. The reason why I say this is that skateboarding can be super nuanced and confusing to someone who doesn't skate, and buying the wrong size can make the difference between an amazing gift that someone loves and a not so good gift that someone doesn't really want. If for some reason you don't skate and you're set on buying a skater one of these things specifically, I would recommend just asking one of their friends which companies and sizes that they like to skate. That way you can avoid any confusion and you don't have that awkward scenario where they kind of like the gift but they can't really use it. Number two on the list is a pair of skate shoes. Skateboarders are constantly going through shoes, so this is definitely one of the most useful presents you can get a skater. Also, it's not too hard to figure out what size and brand that they like to skate. In addition to a new pair of shoes, another good gift idea for skaters is a tube of shoe goo. Shoe goo is basically just a rubber adhesive that makes skate shoes last longer, and it's something that almost every skateboarder uses, so you can't really go wrong with it. Number three on our list of skater gift ideas is a transformer rail. Transformer rails are essentially two-in-one or sometimes even three-in-one rails that you can skate like a ledge, flat bar, or round rail. They're super easy to switch from a ledge to a rail, and you can also adjust the height of it, so you can skate it a lot of different ways. This is why I think they're way better than a normal rail or ledge, because you have way more options, so it's not something you're going to get bored of easily. Transformer rails have a few models to choose from, and they even do custom builds, so it can be a great present to get a skater. Now some people might think they're a bit expensive because they do cost a few hundred dollars depending on which one you go with, but for what you get, I feel like they're well worth the money. They're easily one of the best portable rail slash ledges you can buy, and if you look up reviews, it's almost impossible to find anything negative about them. Number 4 on the list is some skateboarding art. As far as what you should get, there's a ton of different types of skateboarding art out there, so it really just comes down to what you think is best. Something that's become really popular over the past few years is making art out of recycled skateboards, and it's pretty impressive to see the amount of things that people make. There's rings, guitar picks, wallets, tables, keychains, clocks, basically anything out there that's made with wood, people have also made using recycled skateboards. The key thing here is to avoid any generic skateboarding art that you'd find at a department store, and instead, try to find something that's a little more unique and thoughtful. So the fifth skateboard gift idea is a skate trip. One of the best parts about skateboarding is traveling to other places to skate, which is exactly why paying for a skate trip can be a great gift idea for a skater. Now there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can either send them on a trip somewhere that's great for skating, like LA or New York, or you can send them to an event like Tampa Pro, The Dew Tour, or pretty much any other skateboarding event. Number 6 on the list is a quarter pipe made by Keen Ramps. Ideally, a full mini ramp would be better, but if you don't have the space, a single quarter pipe can still be pretty good. Keen Ramps is a skater owned company that makes a ton of different ramps, but getting a quarter pipe in particular is nice because they're not nearly as common as other obstacles and they make it super easy to build by sending you a pre-made kit to put together. The ramps are really durable and there's even a lot of pros who skate them, so if you take care of it, it's something that can last you for a few years. The seventh gift idea for skaters is skate product from a local company. Skateboarders always like to support their local scene, so if you got them something from a local company, chances are they'd be pretty hyped on it. One of the easiest ways to do this is to buy something from their local skate shop, like a shirt or a hat, but if you know there's a local skate company that they like, getting something from them can also be just as good. Also, just for clarification here, when I say local skate shop, I mean local core skate shop, which is essentially most skate shops that aren't a chain store. Number 8 on the list is a good quality skate tool. 
Skate tools are essentially just all-in-one tools that have everything you need to put together a skateboard, and they're a great gift for skaters. They make basic skate tools for as cheap as $5, but I recommend paying a little bit more for a good all-in-one tool. You can get a really nice skate tool for around 20 bucks that has literally everything you could possibly need to set up or adjust a board, and I can assure you they're worth spending the extra money on. Our ninth skater gift idea is a muscle massager. They've been getting more and more popular in skateboarding, and even though they're not directly related to skating, they're really useful to have. Muscle massagers are good to use before you skate to help you warm up your muscles, and they're also good to use after you skate to prevent you from getting sore. Number 10 is a good set of insoles. Most skate shoes come with pretty bad insoles, which is obviously super bad for skaters' feet, so if you even remotely care about the skateboarder you're shopping for, do them a favor and buy them some insoles. I recommend footprint insoles. They are a little pricey, but to me, it's definitely worth the money spent. A lot of insoles feel squishy and comfortable, and it seems like they're really nice, but footprint insoles just do a much better job at absorbing shock than most other insoles you're going to find. So next, I want to mention a few good skater gift ideas that are somewhat smaller presents, but they're still worth considering. First up, we have hardware. Skaters are pretty bad about never buying new hardware, so this can definitely be a good present for them. Pretty much any 1-inch skate hardware is fine, and it only costs a few dollars. Next up, we have a set of bearings. Out of every part on a skateboard, bearings are probably the most neglected, so giving someone a new set can be a great gift for skaters. When it comes to which bearings to get, I always recommend Bones Reds. They're what I've always skated, and they're also the most common bearings, so you can't really go wrong with them. Number three is a balance board. They are a little gimmicky, and it's not like they're going to completely transform someone's skating, but I do find myself playing on them every time I see one in a skate shop, so I think it can be a cool present for a skater. Next up, we have shoelaces. Skateboarders rip laces all the time, and it's super annoying when you don't have any extras, so most skaters will be happy to get some. For number five, we have pins, patches, and stickers. These are all simple things that you can buy a skater that they'll definitely appreciate, especially if it's from one of their favorite brands. Next up, we have a phone case. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of skaters have broken phone screens because they're too lazy to buy a case, so getting them a decent case could be a nice way to save them the hassle of having a broken phone. Number seven is a pair of Stance socks. There's a lot of sock companies nowadays with crazy designs, but Stance was one of the first, and they also got their start in skateboarding, so most skaters would appreciate getting a pair. Number eight is a Hydro Flask. I really can't stress enough how nice it is to have some cold water on standby when you're out skating, and I've yet to find a bottle that's as good as a Hydro Flask. Number nine is a Professional Fingerboard. Professional fingerboards are way better than Tech Decks, and they're super fun to play with, so it can be a nice little present to get someone. Pretty much everyone knows how hard it can be to shop for someone, and skateboarders in particular can be even harder to shop for, so hopefully these skateboarder gift ideas at least somewhat helped you out. If you have any suggestions of your own, go ahead and leave it in the comments so other people can see it. Check out the links in the description, be sure to leave a like on the video, and with that said, thanks for watching.